Hello. So I was watching this video on YouTube that showcases how to create holes in your mesh like this. And I realized that there's a slightly easier technique if you're willing to use subdivisions. So let's just start from the beginning with something like this. Not exactly from scratch, but whatever. Anyway, the technique is very similar. You still select all of your vertices and then you search for something called check or deselect, which will give you this type of selection. And then you just follow that up with a vertex belt out wrong key. There we go. So you do something like this. And uh, the previous technique, the one that I saw, relies on increasing your bevel segments by scrolling up and then using the loop tools add-on to convert all of your selections into circles and then those circles into holes. But you didn't actually have to go that far. So you can just bevel this the same way, but bevel only once. And also, I think we can maybe use a percentage-based bevel. So press M, uh, M, M, which bevel? Oh, here. Yeah, this is going to give us a much better result compared to the traditional bevel that, as you can see in some areas, it sort of like crashes, and in others, it's like super thick. So bevel, M, 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 there we go. And we get a much nicer bevel. So I'm going to stay here with quads. I'm not going to add any more segments or anything like that. But instead of circularizing, I'm just going to delete these faces right off the bat and use my subdivision. So control three in object mode to turn all of those quads into circles. And granted, subdividing a quad does not create a geometrically perfect circle. But I think it's, it's good enough, you know? And uh, there is an issue with this technique, not gonna lie. I don't know if you can see it right here. Oh God, I'm using a new mouse. This is so weird. Uh, let's turn on shadow cavity and uh, let's use our Maya mat cap or may cap. Anyway, just trying to make this a little bit more intense so you, you can see how uneven the surface is even on YouTube. So that's the drawback of doing this because if you didn't notice, this technique creates tons of ungons, which aren't inherently evil by themselves, but how they're going to subdivide isn't entirely obvious. So that's really the only issue with ungons. And in our case, uh, the surface is just a little too wobbly, but we can alleviate that with a solidify modifier. So just add one right here. Cool. But if we move it before our sub -Ds, the surface just looks much cleaner. So it's still a little bit uneven, but you can't really tell anymore. And of course we can still add in some extra thickness and maybe some creasing. Yeah, that's good enough. So up close, it might not hold up that well, just because I'm relying on uh, the normal smoothings to make it look like these edges actually have a bevel when they clearly do not. But like I said, it's passable. And the idea behind all of that was to just uh, avoid having to use the loop tools add-on and uh, maybe even the reprojection of our normals to to make the surface look cleaner. So yeah, that's that's just sub D. And um, I guess while we're here, let's actually try making something a little bit cooler. So I'll reset my scene. So I also want to showcase some of my uh, latest scripts for Blender. So I, I offer a collection of scripts. They're very small, very basic, and they're all free, by the way but they can really help you out sometimes when you're sub modeling. So let's do this and show you how I would do this using my scripts. So instead of using the checker deselect, I would actually just use my select adjacent add-on, which turns this into this. And if I spam it enough times that you already saw, you can basically simulate a checker deselect. So that's like my lazy way of checker deselecting. So I'll select one ver vertex and uh, encompass the entire mesh. And now I'm gonna use my smart button. So I'll just press B and uh, what it does is it basically selects the correct bevel tool depending on the context because Blender has both vertex and edge beveling. So again, I'm just gonna press B and press M a few times to get that percentage bevel we already used. Something like this. And here's I, where I wanna do something different. Actually, that bevel is a little bit too intense. Like this, perfect. Cool. So now I'm just going to inset and maybe Alt S to move all of these in. So Alt S is basically uh, like push or uh, move along normals. So I'll do that. 
And I also want to store the selection because I know I'm going to need it again. So I can do this with vertex groups, but I also discovered you can kind of use this called face maps, which kind of work the same way as vertex groups, but not really. They're more limited. So I'm really clueless as to like what these are for. But point is we can use them. So assign. And if I ever lose my selection, I can just recover it right here very easily. So that's pretty handy. And I'm going to switch to edges and then alt R to select all of the edge rings, right click subdivide, or I could, I could have also used my subdivide script, whatever. Anyway, the, the point of these little, uh, this subdivision was to create edge loops that go through all of these depressions. And that's going to turn our, uh, our holes into a uh, square really. And what else can we do? So let's just recycle this again. And, uh, Oh, you select adjacent one more time to get uh, the surrounding face loops. And we're going to use another script called connect. So shift C and go to the properties and increase this. So I like using connect as a, as a way of adding just a bunch of ed edge loops in a bunch of different locations at the same time, because uh, using or trying to use loop cut to add uh, control loops like that for every single instance of this detail would have taken forever. So that's how I use connect. By the way, uh, you can search for all of my scripts through the search menu. So just type in arm and whatever the script name is, or you can type the whole thing, arm, I can't spell, armor. And uh, if they're not showing up, you either haven't installed them in the first place, or you, ha you don't have a uh, developer extras enabled in your preferences. So make sure those two things are uh, true. So what do we do now? Oh yeah, let's just recover our selection. Extrude, cancel, Alt S to push this in. And uh, maybe one more time. Extrude, cancel, Alt S. So that was just for uh, adding an extra edge loop right here. Because edge loops are how we control our subdivisions. So Control 3 to make sure I have three subdivision levels. And we have something that looks pretty cool. So I just love using sub Ds to model with. But whatever technique you use, it's cool. Uh, whatever fits your uh, your use case, I guess. So let's use my Maya mat cap again because I just think it's a little bit nicer because of the extra intensity. So my scripts, my mat caps, my hotkeys, uh, that's all included in the Gumroad link in the description. So if any of that interests you, it's all free. Anyway, thanks for watching.